The thread feature in SOLIDWORKS automates a helical sweep to either cut or extrude a thread profile. While there are standard thread profiles with various sizes available in SOLIDWORKS, if a non-standard profile is needed, we can design our own. When designing a custom thread profile, we first create a single closed contour sketch within an empty part. The origin of the sketch is used as the default pierce point for the sweep when using the thread feature. We can define the default pitch of the thread by adding a vertical centerline from the origin, with the desired length being taller than the profile to avoid a self-intersecting sweep. Other sizes for this thread can be created by adding configurations and changing the dimensions as desired. Renaming the dimensions used to fully define the sketch can make this easier, especially if you use design tables. The location of the standard thread profiles can be found within the file locations of SOLIDWORKS. This is where we'll save our custom profile. To be able to use our sketch profile when using the thread feature, we must save this as a library feature part. Pre-select the sketch before heading to Save As, then choose the file type Library Feature Part. Specify a name and save this in the Thread Profiles folder. If you forget to pre-select the sketch before saving, the thread profile will not be picked up by the feature. But don't worry, you can right click on the sketch, select Add to Library and re-save the library feature part. Your custom profile will now be found in the specification type drop down when using the thread tool. To learn how to use the thread tool, check out our other tutorials and subscribe for more SOLIDWORKS tips, tricks and solutions.